happy, 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 happy. Chicken of the woods, very, very, very large chicken of the woods. That makes me happy. Eli is hooked up. Gotta hear clanking, Coco. Several different ways. What kind of furs you got? Okay, this, so this is a sink full of the chicken of the woods mushrooms. I'm fixing to break down. I'm gonna pull them apart and clean them up real good. Uh, when this type of mushroom grows, it grows around everything that's around it so it'll grow up through the grass around leaves and it doesn't push that stuff out of the way it just gets to it and grows around it so a lot of those things are grown into these into these mushrooms they're 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 fairly clean i mean all together but there is there is some organic stuff in there so we're gonna try and get get some of that out of there also i'm gonna work it up cut it up and then uh, we're gonna go in the air fryer with it uh, <clears throat> these mushrooms do a whole lot better if you if you par cook them before you you freeze them. So we'll go ahead and flavor them with different things, different seasonings, and I'll, I'll kind of cue you in what we're doing as we're going. And then uh, we'll get those cooked up, bagged up, and get them ready to eat for months to come. Okay, so I've just been slowly tearing some of this mushroom apart, this chicken of the woods, uh, cleaning it up. Like I said, there's some, it does go around grasses and stuff. It's a little bit hard to do with just one hand right now, but I've been, like you see these little spots of, it's not dirt, that's little spots of leaves that's on there. So just been cleaning those up and, and uh, Throw the dirty spots away. And I've got them about, about where I can par cook the first bunch. So what I want to do, just got a piece of parchment paper laid out. I'm going to lay them all, all out. Doesn't matter which side I lay them on because I'm going to get both sides of them. And, uh, you can use different things to to do this next step with. Different people use different things. Some people don't use anything. They just will dehydrate them a little bit or they might just throw them in the oven for a little while. But just something to, something to cook them just a little bit before you freeze them. That way they'll freeze well. And, but what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some coconut oil. I'm gonna use some coconut oil. I'm just gonna spray them down. Then we like we like cavenders. So let's take some cavenders. Sprinkle on there real good. And flip those guys over. You guys don't want to watch me flip all these over, so I'll, I'll cut cut in and out on, on these steps. You got them all flipped back over. Spray them down again. Sprinkle them down again. And that's the first bunch ready for the air fryer. Okay, just got the air fryer. 
put some parchment paper in the bottom of it. I'm gonna take the chicken of the woods and just scatter them in there. Now this part isn't doesn't matter as much as it probably might normally. What I mean by that is this is just this is just preparation for the freezer, so I don't I don't care if we. I just want the heat on them. I want them all to be heated to to certain to a certain spot, so we can layer them in there if we want to. Is what I'm getting at. They'll probably adhere to each other a little bit, and they'll probably bind together a little bit. But that's all right. That doesn't matter. Just put a good layer in there, and I'll have to repeat this several times to get this batch done because it's. I've got probably seven or eight pounds of chicken in the woods in the sink right now that I'm working through. All right, that's uh, that's the mushroom covered in coconut oil and some caverners on it. And then in, later on, you can you can season however you like, or you can season it all at this point different different ways. If you if you had some kind of idea of on on what you're going to do. Okay, we're going to go up to. Go down to, we'll start with eight minutes. It'll probably take about 10, but we're gonna start with eight. And we're gonna go up to 400 degrees. Just let that go right there. Repeat. All right, I'm gonna get another batch and I'll let you see those when they, when they come out in a minute. Got another batch ready here. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that all down with something with a little. We've got a couple minutes on the on the air fryer waiting on that other batch to get out actually one minute so they'll be out in just a second this chicken of the woods is a, is a really fun mushroom it's a safe mushroom because it's there's not many that are that you're going to mistake for this mushroom so id is id is is very very simple on this one it's bright orange on the top side so it's easy to see so if you think that you might want to uh, start collecting mushrooms this is a good time of year morels are we're on the back end of morels i haven't had a chance to to look for morels a morel isn't one you just take off looking through anywhere you have to pretty much know uh, places where they grow but this one in particular uh, they like older, mature oak trees, so you're looking older uh, oak flats where there's older, dead, decaying, or right at the last of life age uh, oak trees, and, and you're bound to find some. All right, air fryer just went off. Let's take a look at these in here. Let's dry them out just a little bit, so we're probably not going to go quite as long. It's a little drier than, than I would like it. Taste is amazing, though. Wow. I'm telling you, that tastes, tastes just like chicken. You can 100%. And I don't know of many... Other than maybe stuffing because this is, this is fiber, so it may be hard to stuff. But just any any, any kind of a chicken recipe, you can you can take this and replace it in. Or we'll keep going. I, I may prepare some in a minute with with some some different sauces or something on it just to show you guys some of the things you can do. All right, I'm gonna get this bagged up, get this in the air fryer, start some more with that, and keep going. Okay, we're still back at it here. All right, well, we're still back at it here. I've made a a concoction here, a raspberry chipotle sauce with uh, honey in it. And we're just gonna dip a couple of these in there. Get them coated real good and slobbery. Break out the fine cooking utensils here. Just slathered on there. Okay, 
we're going to do a couple pretty good sized fronds. The way this mushroom grows, it grows in layers, shelves, so to speak. And they call those those layers fronds because they kind of look like the fronds of a of a fronding tree, like a palm tree or some flowers that frond out. Get the camera back down where it needs to be. Nothing special. And then I'm I'm telling you guys that if if you have a recipe with chicken, you just simply replace the chicken with this mushroom, and you will. You'll be tickled you did, I promise. There's a lot of medicinal values in this mushroom. I'm not gonna get into all of those right now. This video would be an hour long. But this is this is a, a very, very safe mushroom to collect. Like I said, it's a good time of year to, to collect them. I'm gonna put some of these others in here too, I won't waste the waste the time. If you, if you have a little bit of time on your hands and you're interested in, in forging wild edibles, this is a good time of year to do so. And this is a, a good starter mushroom if, you're, if your focus happens to be mushrooms or you're wanting to get started with the mushrooms. I've, I've yet to let any of my friends or anybody that's ever eaten any of this say gross that's absolutely horrible they usually grin they look at you and they say like clockwork that tastes just like chicken because it does that's so cliche to say so about so many foods and then when you actually have one it, it honestly straight up tastes like chicken it's kind of weird uh we're going we're going to decrease we're not going to get quite as aggressive this time so we're going to go 370 or We'll go seven minutes. Right. And that was just a uh, a store bought raspberry chipotle that we that we like. And I added the honey and added a few spices to it and added some coarse sea salt to it. All right, I'm gonna stay at it. Just got another batch out of there and got the colander about filled up with the stuff that I've already got pre cooked. I end up bagging that. We gonna keep chugging. Yeah, our air fryer is just about to go off. We've got another batch ready to go here. <clears throat> go ahead and get that sprayed. And the thing behind the oil is just to, just to put some kind of fat on there so it doesn't just dry it completely out. Because this particular mushroom, if you just put it with, with heat, which you can do, I mean, it's, it's, and it still tastes good. But you, you lose some volume and you lose a little bit of lose a little bit of the flavor by just applying heat to it. So I like to cover it with with an oil. But my favorite way to do it is throw it in a skillet with some butter and onions and stuff and just cook it like that. Peppers. Uh, another thing about any kind of wild edible, you don't want to just go gung ho when you first throw that goes right there. You don't want to just go gung ho and just start eating a bunch of it. Uh, you might get a little bit of it cook some try just a small small portion and see how you react to it make sure that you know you don't have any kind of food allergies because a lot of people are have got uh will get uh, gastric problems with with wild mushrooms cause your stomach problems not not many people do that but some do it is it is a thing so if you don't know that about yourself and this this is a mild mushroom here this is this is a very safe mushroom to eat but still yet kind of a disclaimer there i don't want everybody just you know, just going gung-ho and, and eating five pounds of this stuff and then coming and saying hey i got sick eating this i mean well yeah you get sick eating five pounds of ice cream too all right oh that's wonderful I can already tell you that it's going to taste good. Try just a tiny, tiny piece there. It's going to be hot. Oh my gosh. I 
I'm telling y'all. I wish you could taste that. That is absolutely amazing. So, we end it with that. Get off your duff. Get out in the woods. There's things out there you'll be finding right now. If you're interested at all in, in, in foraging, wonderful time to be in the woods right now. Uh, I'm not going to give you a list of things you can find right now because that's a lot of times that's, that's kind of irresponsible. If I'm in the woods and I'm IDing things as I'm showing you, that's that's another thing. If you if you find some things and you want and you want to and you want them ID and, and I can help you in that area, just uh, send me some pictures or whatever, and I'll, I'll help you best I can. If it's if it's something that's questionable, I will straight up tell you 100%. Don't eat it. But you can ask any of my family. I, we've been doing this for years, and if there's a mushroom. A new edible that we found and we're like 99 percent sure it's it's the one that we want but there's one detail that's missing we don't eat that mushroom we throw it out and we we wait till we find another one we study that's that's the key to to the wild edibles is is knowing what you're collecting Give me another bite of that that is really good wow Honey Chipotle Chicken of the Woods. Kind of hard to beat. You guys hit that like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. And this is the end result. That's about a 10 pound mushroom. And by the time I got it cleaned up and all the, the, the hardcore spots out of it. But I didn't keep those. You can keep those and make a, a broth out of them. I, I didn't do that on this one. Uh, well, you've got about probably three pounds of a finished product here out of about a 10 pound mushroom. And that's after it's been cooked. And when you when you cook it, it dries it out just a little bit unless you unless you saute it. <coughs> then it tends to, to maintain weight. But that's it in a nutshell. I right, just put these in Ziplocs because I weighed them fairly quick. <coughs> If I was going to do it for long-term storage, I'd break out the, the vacuum sealer and, and vacuum seal it. But that's the end product right there. Hit that like and subscribe. See you all next time.